Good morning everyone, Treasure Troller here from the partially mask wearing militant state of Michigan where we have Gretchen Whitmer as our governor and dictator and I know, you, I know some of you don't believe me about the dictator thing but if you don't, just go ask Kelly Stafford because she'll tell you. So just a couple of things today a couple of things that I really don't quite understand the first one is Jeffrey Tubin. Now, if you're not familiar with Mr. Tubin, he was the legal analyst at uh, he was a legal anal analyst at CNN, and he was also worked for the New Yorker magazine. And during a Zoom meeting with other co-workers from the New Yorker magazine well Jeffrey thought his camera was off and so he started pleasuring himself in front of the rest of his co-workers which quickly got him fired from the New Yorker and then quickly got him off the air at CNN so I'm not exactly sure how these like uh paid contributor kind of things work, legal analysts as far as contracts go. But anyways, Jeffrey is off the air at CNN, and after eight months, eight long, hard months, Jeffrey comes back. And so he had to sit there with Allison Camerata and uh, not only announced that he was back but they they walked through the uh, the incident that got him off the air for eight months uh, my I guess question for for Jeffrey Tubin is Jesus man you really couldn't find another job there's nothing else out there for you that you'd come groveling back to CNN and humiliate yourself through that cringe worthy interview with Allison Camerata of all people you would do that for a legal analyst job at CNN the dude has got a Harvard bachelor's degree and a law degree from Harvard and and it's worth going on there I don't have a problem giving you a second chance and I want you to have a second chance but you went back to CNN I mean all these jobs out there that are open because of the immunity enhancement program and the best you could do was crawl back on your hands and knees and kiss the ass of CNN to get your old legal analyst job back? All I can say is... Uh, you got no balls. I, I just can't... I cannot believe you do that. The next thing is... And I don't quite understand these... I've uh, had the, uh, <laughs> I guess, the opportunity to, to watch a few uh, of these TikTok things. And I saw the one that uh, Lamont was talking about, the, uh, the, you know, the wicked witch of the West turns herself into, uh, into the princess. But the ones I don't understand. And I will never understand them. Is these ones where, like, the wife or girlfriend is leaving, and they, and the boyfriend or husband mistakenly texts the wife and says, She's gone, come on over, just to see how the wife will react. Well, I'm going to tell you how they're going to react with bullshit like that. 
They're going to call a divorce attorney. And then it's going to be, well, real fun for you. See, that's when the joke really starts. I'll never understand why you'd want to put someone you supposedly love through something like that. And um, I'll never understand those videos. So I think, I really think that the conspiracy theory behind TikTok and YouTube is it was comprised of divorce attorneys because they they knew there'd be a lot of stupid people out there that would do some really embarrassing, humiliating, and untrustworthy things to their spouses to cause divorces. So I think really the, the biggest gainers out of TikTok are divorce attorneys. So with that, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.